Any democracy should have contested elections. And when you take a look at the congressional map, 90% of the districts in this country have been gerrymandered, so they're either safely Democratic or safely Republican districts. And this is a safely Democratic district that I'm running in, Florida's 23rd Congressional District. Debbie Wasserman Schultz has never had a primary challenge. If you've got a safe district and you never have a primary challenge, where's the democracy in that? So we need to have contested elections, we need to have primary challenges, and voters need to be able to know where the candidates stand on the issues. And debates are the way to do that. And I really question my opponent's commitment to democratic debates and even to democracy. As chair of the Democratic National Committee, she dragged her feet on the number of debates that were scheduled and when they were scheduled. The Republicans had far more debates in prime time than the Democrats and the Republicans ended up with a much higher turnout throughout all of their primaries than, than did the Democratic Party. That's not the way to grow the party. And then we look here, right here in our district. I sent Debbie Wasserman Schultz a challenge in April asking her to debate in a series of six debates. You know, she's never even responded to my letter. She refuses when asked by the press to respond to the debate challenge. The Sun Sentinel has called for debates. Michael Putney in the pages of the Miami Herald is called for debates, and she doesn't want to acknowledge that she even has a primary challenger. You know, the voters in this district deserve better than that.